Some more information has just come out about BYD's electric pickup truck, electric ute. You know, some of this information is just flat out wrong because it comes from one of the dodgiest websites created in human history, a website that has actually been sued by Tesla and lost. It's probably the only electric vehicle website in the world, or at least vehicle website in the world that has been sued by Tesla and lost the case in China. That tells you how dodgy that website is. Now, I want to set the record straight, tell you what is really going on and clear up this utter nonsense. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. And as you can see, I've lost a hell of a lot of weight, a hell of a lot of weight recently. Now, my suggestion here, if you want to lose a lot of weight, all you have to do is sleep very little, spend way too much time looking up cancer treatments and how to starve cancer, um, and don't eat much because you're focused on other things. Now, I haven't intentionally tried to lose any weight it's just happened as a result of the craziness that's been going on here in Viking land lately. And um, you know what? I've got to change. So it's going to happen. I'm going to change. I'm going to start sleeping. Three hours sleep a night, that is not enough to get me to stay awake. Now, I know I've made some videos that you guys have seen where I was literally half asleep. Sorry about that. Now, as you can see, I'm not half asleep. I actually got, a, actually got eight hours of sleep last night. It was miraculous. Today, I'm a new man. And BYD's electric pickup truck is something I would like to own, personally. Why? Well, because, frankly, I think it's going to be really good. Really good. I'm serious. And now we know when it's actually coming out. Now, BYD have been working on their electric pickup truck now for quite a long time. Years, in fact. And they say that they plan on releasing it in many markets around the world in 2024. Now, there's a recent article saying Australia, it's being released in Australia in 2024, but it's so Australian centric. I don't know why they're obsessed with Australia. The point here is it's going to come to lots of markets. It's going to come to New Zealand. People in New Zealand love electric cars even more than people in Australia. Go New Zealand, go, go, go. Yes, yes, yes. I'm proud of you guys. And by the way, I love your freaking country. It's absolutely amazing. If you guys, if you haven't been to New Zealand, you need to go. I mean that you need to go. New Zealand is spectacular. I've been to about 32 different countries. Most of those I went to when I rode my bike around the world. But New Zealand was the most scenic country I've been to. And it's not even close. Spectacular place. By the way, the people there are very friendly as well. They'll let you in. They'll invite you into their homes. You know, let you eat all their food. No, just kidding. Just kidding. They might, they might invite you into their homes though. They are very generous. So you should go there. And they love electric cars. In fact, now, about 20% of all cars being sold in New Zealand are fully electric. You guys are killing it. You're killing us. You're making us here in Australia look, you're making us look bad. Stop it, guys. You're making this look really bad. Now, BYD's electric pickup truck is actually going to be awesome for a variety of reasons. It's a dual cab ute for you Aussies in, uh, well, you know, why do we call it a ute? It's ridiculous. Americans invented the freaking ute. They call it a pickup truck. We should call it a pickup truck as well. Why do we make our own name up for an American invention? That is just plain dumb. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The new BYD Ute is expected to be a similar size to the Toyota Hilux and the Ford Ranger dual cab pickup trucks. It's going to be one of the first electric pickup trucks in Australia, in, well, most of the world. Of course, you Americans are well ahead of us. Great. That's going to be one of the first that we'll receive because um, unfortunately, they're not making enough electric vehicles in Australia, electric pickups in America, I mean, in the United States, for us to get some here in Australia. Please make more Americans, United States manufacturers. So we can get some. I know that's not going to happen, but I'll try it. I tried, guys. I tried. You know I've tried. Now, the managing director of BYD's local distributor, EB Direct, Luke Todd, told Drive, this new ute or pickup truck is due in Australian showrooms in 2024. And I think it will actually happen. I do. We haven't seen a whole lot of details, but it's going to have lithium-ion blade batteries, lithium-ion phosphate blade batteries. Will it have a sodium battery? No, I don't think the sodium batteries will have enough energy density. We put in a big pickup truck, which will need a lot of battery juice. It's going to take a lot of power, this thing. By the way, I do believe one of the reasons it's been on hold because it's because it's going to take a huge amount of battery power, right? Massive. Probably, you're probably looking at battery packs from the size of 100 kilowatt hour minimum the smaller range vehicles up to maybe 160 kilowatt hours in the longer range vehicles that's a lot of batteries BYD can't make enough now to satisfy demand obviously it's got a backlog of 500,000 vehicles we'll be interested to see how that's affected by Tesla's price cuts in China but at the same time I mean a lot of BYD's vehicles are just not Tesla doesn't have a comparable vehicle so it probably won't affect them all that much now it's unclear if this ute or pickup truck will actually have a ladder frame chassis as many other pickup trucks in this area have. In fact, many pickup trucks around the world, it's just the thing, do a ladder frame chassis. I mean, it's really only Tesla with a Cybertruck 
that isn't. Now the biggest thing we're hearing about this vehicle is it's gonna cost, um, what do they say? $120,000 in Australian dollars. Right, so what's that like? It's about it's about seventy thousand US dollars. You really think that's true? People are getting worried about this. They're saying, "Oh, okay, well, this is another pointless car. I can't afford this. This is seventy thousand US dollars for a Ford Ranger sized Ute, Ford Ranger sized pickup truck. That's not going to be the price. That's why I'm telling you, don't listen to this ridiculous." China PEV website because they just make things up. They have no idea what they're talking about. You gotta remember the RD6, this car has to compete with Geely's RD6. The RD6 starts at 30,000 US dollars. You really think, you really think BYD gonna charge more than twice as much for this car? They're not gonna do that. That is ridiculous. Now, will it be cheap? No, but will it start at a cheaper price than 70,000 US dollars? Absolutely. It probably started a price of around 45,000 US dollars. That's my call. That's about 65,000 Australian dollars, Aussies. That means, yes, it will be relatively affordable. It has to be because it will compete with other vehicles. It may take a little while for other vehicles to come to market, but there are the other electric pickup trucks coming to Australia. It's true, so that won't be the price, Aussies. I'm gonna guess the average price for the base model worldwide will be around, around about 40,000 US. Now, one of the interesting things though about the Radar RD6, if you're wondering what vehicle this is, I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about that vehicle. It's very different. It's not your traditional pickup truck. It's more like a car, but it has a pickup bed. It's very cheap, very, very affordable, incredibly cheap. I, I don't know how they can make them at this price, especially considering Geely doesn't really make it. It's sort of like a, sort of like a subcontracted company. But the truth is, it's really, really good value for the money. I think they can sell like crazy in the US, in Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand. Many countries would buy the RD6 in a heartbeat. It's incredibly good. Now, one thing we know, if you look at these spy photos, you can see from these spy photos that the pickup truck's cabin is separate to the tray. This indicates it will be a heavy duty body on frame design. It will be able to probably tow three and a half tons. Not a lot for you Americans, I know, but for Australians, that's a good figure, three and a half tons. And it will be able to go off road. Now the RD6 is not an off road vehicle at all. This will be a direct competitor for the Ford Ranger and the Toyota Hilux. But of course they won't be electric for many years to come. So it won't be a competitor really. It'll be in its own niche for a little while at least. Rivian though, Rivian say that they're bringing their pickup trucks to Australia, but that could take years considering their production ramp up is being pretty damn slow. They will come and so will the Cybertruck and so will a range of other electric pickup trucks. Now, mechanical details. All we know is it'll use blade batteries, lithium ion phosphate batteries. And I do believe the price of those batteries will decrease this year. The cost of lithium will go down because we're gonna see we're gonna see BYD and CATL. They're basically saving our asses. They are, I know that sounds ridiculous, but they kind of are. Seriously, they're the two biggest battery companies in the world now, and they're pushing us towards sodium ion batteries. So thank you, BYD. Thank you, CATL, because without you guys doing this, it probably wouldn't have ever happened. That's the truth. You're the two biggest in the world, and you're pushing that way. They're saying sodium ion and combination lithium with sodium ion batteries, which are the best, actually, the best of both worlds. Why? Well, I've talked about it in other videos. I'll get onto that in another video. I'll make another one about those batteries and why they're so good, they're gonna mean reduced demand for lithium. It will reduce. Now, it may not reduce as in reduce overall, but it will reduce in terms of the, where you're expecting all these battery companies, all these mining companies are saying, well, demand's going up, 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 up at this trajectory, but all of a sudden that trajectory is gonna be lower than what they thought. Therefore, the cost of lithium will start to decline. We've already seen the cost of raw materials in very, very, very many other areas like solar panel raw materials come down drastically in the last two months. The same thing will happen to lithium. It's pretty much a foregone conclusion. What does that all mean? That means lith these lithium ion phosphate batteries will be cheaper for BYD to manufacture. Plus, remember, the more you make, the cheaper they are. That's the reality of it. Economies of scale. By the time 2024 rolls around, BYD will be making insane amounts of batteries, therefore reducing the cost of them. Therefore meaning this pickup truck won't cost 75,000 US dollars. That's ridiculous. Will it be cheap? Probably not, but it won't be that expensive. Now, unverified reports say this vehicle could be branded under the Yang Wang luxury division of vehicles, but that's nonsense. Don't buy into that. That's just people talking fear factor, trying to drive some fear into you thinking, this is gonna be a luxury vehicle, I can't afford it. I won't worry about an electric pickup truck. I'll just buy a gasoline powered one. Probably written by Toyota's executives trying to get you to buy gas instead. Of electric. This electric pickup truck is coming. It will use lithium ion phosphate batteries. By the way, it's gonna be awesome. The world 
by 2024, it's gonna be awesome. This is the year of the EV, not the year of the monkey, not the year of the chicken, not the year of the gas car. It's the year of death to gas, death to the ice industry, death to the fossil fuel industry, and the year of life, the year of seeing the world improve drastically. I guarantee you that will happen. Thank you for watching.